Hi, I'm now going to try and explain how to access the group Padlet when you're already use, using the class Collaborate. So, very quickly, we start off clicking on the, the class here. Nya, nya, nya. And we have to click on this to get into the class. So we'll open the class. Now before I do that, can you look at the top of my browser here? I've only got win one window open at the moment. So when I open the class, that opens in the same window. So I say, join the room. Okay, the usual stuff. Okay, there's only me here because this is just an ex an illustration of how it works. But now what I want to illustrate is how you can be in the in the seminar class and use your group padded at the same time. Now this is useful when you're actually in a breakout group with your other group members. You need to go back over, click on the on the content, okay, which takes you back. Okay, well I'll go back here again. This is this is the class, you know normally we would expect more people in there and so on okay so you click on the the previous tab which is usually marked content like this now you'll see here it's not it's not what we want we want to be back at, at your class and group information so the trick here is to click on this thing here class and group page you click on that it takes you back to the class and group page Okay, I'll just can I go back. No, I don't think I can't. Can't I? No, I can't. Okay, so we're stuck at the class and group page. So when you get back to this tab, which says content on it, click on class and group page. That brings you here. If you now click on the group Padlet, this section here of what you're seeing is exclusive to the group that you're actually in on Blackboard. This is the class, see it says class one, this demonstration. So this is the class, and uh, this here is class one, group one. This is the group. So if you click on the group Padlet, now, don't bother what's on the screen for the moment. Look at the top here. We've now got three tabs open. We've got the content tab, which is where I've come from. The class one, group one Padlet, which is this thing, and we also have the, the the class collaborate open. Now the reason that this works is if you're using a microphone, you can still talk to your group members while looking at the group padlet. Now this is the group padlet, which is organized in columns. Um, there's some basic information in the first column here. Then there's the first week. Um, you can see I've stolen this from one of the groups who were working in the first semester so please don't pay too much attention to what they've said okay so the first week you organize your inputs here you can put anything you like on here for example um let's see i can start adding another nya 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 file let's see i can well no i won't do that so you see i'm getting confused here right Okay, upload. Let's say I want to upload something. Pick a file. Something that's not there. Why not the the image of the the icon we use use the logo here, and that that appears immediately in the, in in this list here. So you can pick any file you like that's on your, on your computer and do that. Um, I should if I'm sensible. By the way, because I uploaded this, I can also delete it. That will be the same for each member of the group. Um, but you, know, you will not be able to delete other people's, other people's work. Um, you know, because I'm a, I, <clears throat> I'm a teacher and I've got sort of more privileges than everybody else here, I can delete anything I like. But for you, you can only delete the stuff that you put up yourself. Now, the reason I'm going on about this is to explain how it is that you can both have the, the class collaborate open and the group work open at the same time group padlet open at the same time as the group as, as collaborate you can see I, I can just switch these now the thing about this is it allows you to talk to your fellow members 
while you're actually doing some work here. Oh, okay, so we can I can just close this down by doing that. That brings us back to group Padlet. The group I'm sorry, the group collaborate, the class collaborate. I can leave this session as usual and just close that and I'm back here at this thing. Now let's say you know you wanted to interact with your group outside the class time. Well the simple way to do this is to click on this thing here, this class one group one, which will just produce the same thing by the way. Ignore these people, these are all teachers by the way. You can ignore them. Um so that gives you direct access to the the Padlet, but also over here you've got a group collaborate. So if I click on the group collaborate, it's exactly the same sequence as 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 doing all the other stuff. But I now this is not the class collaborate anymore. It's confined to just let's say the five people in the group. I now want to you know look at look at my um look at the group collaborate I go back here and again I click on the class group page okay and I just start the group collaborate and again if you look at the top here now if this was a real trial with four other members of the group we could still all speak to each other through this thing because the group the group collaborate is open but we can all talk about what we're doing with with let's say week one material in the padlet and so on okay. and just when you're finishing that we can just close down the the padlet um that let's say we better close down the collaborate properly i suppose leave the session um if you forget this bit by the way in closing the collaborate it will automatically close i think about 20 minutes after it detects that there's no there, there's there's no nobody doing anything so even if you forget this stage, it doesn't make that much difference. And now we're back at back at basically our class group page again. Now just to explain some of the confusion here, in in, in Blackboard everything is described as groups. So even the class. The class is one group with twenty five students in it. The group is actually a subset of the people in the class that has only got five people in it. Now, I wish I could change these names. It would be nice if this just said, I don't know, class up here or something, but it doesn't. 